economic objectives, problems and policies. Identifying economic objectives, analysing problems and evaluating policies is central to macroeconomics. There are at least seven macroeconomic objectives. To achieve stable and sustainable growth. To have a stable price level with no significant inflation and no deflation. To have as near to full employment as possible. To have a balance of payments with the rest of the world. To maintain the environment for the benefit of future generations. To have an equitable distribution of income. And to ensure that public sector finances are sound. Economic problems arise when objectives are not met. Possible economic problems include excessive economic growth, low growth or negative growth, inflation and deflation, unemployment and inactivity, a trade deficit or surplus, environmental damage, excessive inequality and unsustainable public sector debt. When analysing problems, there are several things to do. Firstly, define the problem. Then, explain how the problem is measured. What are the indicators economists look for? For example, with inflation, you will need to explain the CPI and how it is constructed and how it differs from other indicators. Next, explain the possible causes of the problem. For example, is inflation caused by excessive domestic aggregate demand? If so, by which component? Or is it caused by an increase in global commodity prices? Or a fall in the exchange rate? Could it be caused by several factors occurring simultaneously? Is the cause predictable or the result of an unexpected shock? Next, identify the major costs and consequences associated with the problem. These might be significant and difficult to deal with. Or they may be temporary and self-correcting. In terms of choosing policies to implement, the most suitable policy or mix of policies must be selected and explained. For example, inflationary pressure could be dealt with in several ways, such as through a monetary contraction by the central bank, raising interest rates, or by long-term supply-side improvements. In evaluating policies, firstly identify any constraints against the policy working. These might include the time it takes to work, or the cost incurred in implementing and operating the policy. There may also be political or legal constraints. The policy might be unpopular, or it might not be allowed due to membership of an international organisation, such as the WTO, or a trading bloc, such as the EU. Also, consider the conflicts associated with the policy. Most policy objectives conflict with at least two other ones. For example, in using monetary policy to control inflationary pressure, aggregate demand may contract, causing growth and jobs to suffer. A policy might have several unintended consequences. Consider the events that can throw a policy off course. Economists assume nothing else changes. But variables in the real world do change, weakening the effectiveness of the policy, or indeed making the policy too effective. Elasticity of aggregate supply may also change, making the effect of tighter monetary policy different from the initial expectation. Look at the current context. And has it changed since the initial question was posed? Inflation might be last year's problem. Finally, keep critical distance by questioning the questions. How big a problem are we really dealing with? Is it a problem that needs intervention at all? It might actually be self-correcting. 
Is there enough information to make a judgment? To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk.